guys. So today we're gonna make a video all about potty training. Owen has been really excited about it over the last little while. He's actually been using the toilet for like about nine months and it's not been consistent. So he's been using it but only to go pee pee and he doesn't use it for anything else. A lot of you guys have been asking about potty training so I figured I would talk about it a little bit since I haven't really been talking about it. But we've basically been using the same method with him that we did with Michael, which was we have him sit backwards on the toilet because it gives them something to kind of hold on to so they don't feel like they're falling in as much. And he's able to use the full-size toilet seat without having to start with a toddler seat. So we did that with Michael. It's working perfectly with Owen. He seems really comfortable. And as soon as he just went for the first time, it was like he just got it and he was excited and he was able to do it. So every single time we put him on the toilet, he uses it and he'll usually hold it. A lot of the time he wakes up dry at night and after naps and he asks to go to the bathroom. So I thought today I would ask him if he wanted to get some big boy undies and see if we could consider transitioning to that step. I know it's a big step because then you actually can't have accidents where now sometimes he obviously does. Um, and obviously there's also the going number two in the toilet. That's like a whole new thing that we'll have to deal with. But I think for now, at least starting to wear undies could be a really exciting step for Owen. Owen, what did you tell Mama? Do you remember? Did you tell Mama you wanted to wear big boy undies? Do you want to go to the store and look for some? We can go buy some? Yeah? I want to get two Do you want to earn a fruit snack by going potty in the toilet? Yeah? Yeah, that sounds fun, huh? You want to go right now? What? Are you ready? Good job, you're done? All right. Owen. Undies. Owen, you want to go in the store and look for some undies? Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's go. He's so excited. Okay, we're walking in the store. We're gonna see if they have Mickey Mouse. Here's the section. Oh, and do you want Mickey or Lightning Queen? Look at Lightning Queen. Oh, do you like Lightning Queen? Can you get Mickey? There's a lot of good ones. I can get Mickey. You like Lightning Queen? Are you gonna wear that? Yeah. And if you wear it, are you gonna make sure you put your pee pee in the toilet? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Do you want to see <gasps> something? Can Owen wear this? Wow. Can you wear wow. these? Look at that. Like. Can you wear this instead of wearing your diaper? What do you think? <laughs> Can you do it? Yeah. You changed your mind? You don't want to do it anymore? No. You're silly, silly, silly. <laughs> you saw PJ Masks? Yeah. Oh, wow. So cool. Do you want to hold those ones? Yeah. Ooh, wow. Do you want to wear those ones too? Yeah. Those are pretty cool. There you go. Oh, you love it. Oh, don't look it. Don't look it. Oh, no. You're a weirdo. <laughs> Okay, can you hug these and hold them? I do. Oh, don't lick them. <laughs> you just hold them, okay? No, <laughs> Those are just yours, huh? <laughs> Only for Omi. No. Oh, don't lick it. <laughs> can you scan it? Good job, let's turn it this way here. Yay, we're buying it. Are you so happy? Are you telling the kids? Tell the kids what you got. You got undies. Yay! Who are those undies for? Are those for you? Are you gonna wear those? You guess what? Owen, if you go pee pee in the toilet, you can get a fruit snack when you wear your undies, okay? We got home from the store and I think it's time to let Owen put on his new undies. 
Which one do you want to wear? Do you want to wear this one? Or this one? Yeah. Or this one? Which one do you like? I like this one. You want to do that one? Okay. okay. These are your big boy undies. When you wear these undies, you can't go pee pee in them, okay? You got to put your pee pee in the toilet every time. Oh, Look so at cool. you! You like how your undies feel? Are they nice? Do <laughs> you want to put these ones on instead? Okay, let's try. Ooh. All right. Look how cute you look. Do you want to go look in the mirror and see how good they look? You look so cute. Okay. Let's get you a fruit snack because you were a good boy and you want to be a clip. That's a good treat, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can I open it for you? Guess what? When you go pee pee in the toilet like a big boy, you get to get more fruit snacks, okay? Yeah, that's a good idea, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. Eat one at a time. Mm -hmm. She says, I think I'll do four at a time. I know. Oh, you specific on the colors already? <laughs> no, you just want to eat three. Your big ones. undies look so good. <laughs> You're a big boy now. Yay. What are you wearing, Owen? You're wearing Mickey undies. Mickey undies? Yeah. Do you like them? Don't forget, you have to tell us if you have to use the bathroom, right? You have to run to the bathroom like a big boy, okay? Can you do that? Yeah. Yeah. Wanna go play for now? Let's go play with your cars. What do you want to do? <laughs> you have to earn them. He's really motivated to earn these fruit snacks. You have to go pee pee in the toilet if you want those. Can I go, go pee pee in the toilet and earn them with Gaga? Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, hey, this way, this way. Don't mind the laundry. That's all right there. <laughs> Good hey, boy. You went pee pee toilet. Hey, now you get another neck. There you go. You want to pee again? Wow. There you go. Yay. You're a lucky boy. He's getting lots of rewards. Eat him just one at a time, okay? Oh, let's go a little slower. He's going to eat him as fast as he can and then run to the bathroom. <laughs> He actually left for right, fruit snacks. All right, let's go play. I like it, look <laughs> You're silly. I think he's actually a little full after his two packs of fruit snacks since he left three there. So we'll see how this goes. In case you guys are wondering, the undies we got Owen to start with, they're called training pants. I don't feel like they really had these that much when I had Michael, but maybe they did and we just skipped over them. But I got these kind and it's hard to tell but they're a little bit thicker right here and they're kind of cool because I think it makes it so that if he does have an accident it kind of catches it but it's still undies so it feels like the cotton that you're used to wearing as opposed to a pull-up that totally feels like a diaper. I have a question. What are you wearing under your shorts today? Yes. Are you a big boy? It's been a little while. How are you doing in your big boy undies, Owen? Are you doing good? Have you had any accidents? No, he's totally dry. Good job. We're about to go out for the day and we're gonna put Owen back in a diaper. And it's okay, I don't think he'll really mind. But we're going in the car and we don't want him to have an accident in the car. So to avoid that, we're just gonna be on the safe side and put him back in a diaper for now. So. That's what we kind of do, and I know some people think you should make your transition and never go back to diapers, but I feel like it's okay to put a diaper on when you need to, just to avoid messes you don't want to have to clean up. 
So as you guys just saw, we've been working with Owen on actually starting his potty training because he's been, like we said, using the potty for a while and we're trying to like take it serious with him now. His communication is where it needs to be so he can talk to yeah. us. So I think that's why we know he's ready. So we're gonna give you guys our five tips for potty training success. And there's probably lots of other things that you guys could look up or use or things you've maybe tried yourself that you like. But for me, this is gonna be my five tips to you guys. So number one, make sure they're ready. So I think that if your kid's having too many accidents and it's just overwhelming, they're probably not ready. And it's really okay to wait like six months, a year. I think a lot of people would say that if you start potty training and it seems like a nightmare, take a six month break and then try again. So don't feel discouraged, just realize they're not gonna go to kindergarten and diapers basically. Number two, keep your expectations realistic. Make sure you don't expect that you're gonna say, hey, we're gonna start potty training today and then they're just gonna take themselves to the bathroom. That's not gonna happen. For a two or even three year old, you're gonna have to remind them, you're gonna have to be the one taking them to the bathroom, you know, be once very an hour. Proactive during yeah. the day, every five, 10 minutes. However often you have to do it. And don't deny them drinks in order to make them not need to use the bathroom because you actually should give them a bunch to drink and let them feel like they need to go to the bathroom so you have a ton of opportunities throughout the day to encourage them to use the toilet. The next one is to use something as a reward of motivation so they'll kind of think it's exciting and fun to want to use the toilet. So when I was little, my younger siblings got M&Ms when they went to the bathroom. My mom would give them one M&M every time they went to the bathroom and she kept the jar like above the door really high and they loved it. They all ate it up and so I kind of thought, oh okay, I remember that. So when I had my own kids, I was like, I'm gonna do that too. I'm gonna give them a little reward. So Owen loves fruit snacks. So we'll give him a whole pack of fruit snacks, maybe just a couple of fruit snacks, whatever it is, but he loves them so much, it doesn't make him really motivated to want to go. Yeah, for his age, that's the perfect, the direct cost approach. It's a one-to-one -one thing. Every time you do this, you get a reward. So we found that that really works well. And you can also even give like a sticker chart. Some kids respond well to that. I think that's probably best for an older kid. I don't think a two-year-old is gonna get too excited about a sticker chart, but you never know, it could work. Tip number four is to get your kid a pack of undies that they feel really excited about. Even if you're planning on using hand-me-down undies because maybe you just had a daughter, you know, a year ago or two years ago or a son two years ago and you want to pass them down or whatever, I think it's still really important to just go out and get that one pack of undies that they're going to feel super special and tied to. It'll have a character they like, a color they like, whatever it is, it'll make them just feel so excited about it. And of course you can toss in wearing all those other undies, but just getting that one pack that's just for the potty training kid, I think is important. Yeah, they'll associate that one pack with potty training. Yeah. The last tip is to just realize that accidents are gonna happen. I think a lot of people think it's just gonna be so easy, especially if their child's talking a lot, they might think it's just gonna be a really super fun and easy transition, but it's different. I think you have to realize that these little babies have only been on the world for like two years. So that's not a long time. And so learning how to potty train and understanding how to actually Stop using your diaper is really hard for some of them, so I don't think you should feel like your kids are doing it on purpose, even if they're hiding in a corner. I've had a kid who hid in the corner to poop over and over and over, and we might have thought she was doing it on purpose. <laughs> I guess you all know who it was. <laughs> I was thinking, do I save the gender on this one? But I mean, it's not like she was over there doing it because she was like mean or trying to get back at me or she knew she was supposed to go in the toilet and she was not listening. It's just because of how they're learning to develop. Like maybe they're embarrassed about it and they don't understand or the or feeling scared, is weird. Yeah. yeah, It's a little different. Yeah, so I feel like you just have to realize these are gonna happen. They're gonna poop in their undies. It's gonna happen and don't get mad at them because that's not the way to do it. Then they're probably gonna hide next time for sure because they don't want you to get mad at them because they've had the accident. So. I mean, even if an adult takes three or four weeks to develop a habit so a kid's gonna take at least that long. Yeah. So, these are our potty training tips. And then of course, specifically for boys, I would say Matt came up with our method of sitting backwards on the toilet, which I did discuss a little bit already in this video, but we found it works really great. It worked really well for Michael, it worked great for Owen. So, I think that's our biggest boy tip is just like letting them sit in a way that's comfortable so that you don't have to buy a potty chair or a small toilet or any of those things because then your kid can become attached to that. And then you've got to carry this potty chair around all the time. I had that with, I want to say David. I used to carry his potty seat in the back of my minivan under the stroller because you never knew when you would need it. And it was great because it fit inside the toilet seat. It would just sit there, but it's kind of also gross to carry that around. That's just so. marketing. You don't need that stuff. Yeah. You could put a Cheerio on the toilet. Maybe some boys like to like have something to aim at. But uh, a Cheerio. Yeah, a Cheerio, a piece of cereal. A cereal, yeah. <laughs> 
So when they're a little older. Yeah. I don't think Owen's age would understand that yet, but when they're a little older, getting them to like use the toilet without making a mess, that's also a good idea. So anyway, we hope you guys loved our video. And definitely talk to us on Instagram. Let us know if there are things that you found that work that we didn't discuss, because maybe it'll help us with Owen. And hopefully what we're saying can help some of you guys, because I know a lot of people really enjoyed Michael's video that we don't even have on YouTube anymore. So I'm hoping this will be a good replacement and you guys can find some success and joy yes. in potty training. Have patience and have fun. Bye. Bye.